right, next question, Peter. How can we help people to deal with uncertainty and loneliness and also help people to find more meaning in life and deal with transitions and loss? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Transitions and loss and loneliness. Uncertainty, and uncertainty. loneliness, meaning, transition, loss. <laughs> well, let me, say, let, let me say just one thing from the word go is that sometimes life sucks. There's nothing we can do about it. It seems to be part of life that everything that starts must come to an end. And I don't want to sound negative. It's just reality. And learning, it, it seems to be part of the human journey to learn to have sometimes pain with us and still be relatively happy. You know, how, I mean, personally, I have been impacted by the loss of my grandparents, by the loss of my father and my mother. And I'm not sure you get over it. I, I don't think we're supposed to get over it, you know. Right? But can, can we find peace with that loss? Can we continue with a meaningful life despite that loss? And I have, over the years, come to the conclusion that we, not only can we come to terms with life and be happy in life despite that loss, but because of that loss. So I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by that, is that losing my parents was a very difficult thing. I didn't lose them both at the same time, but you know, I think they're two, two years apart. And uh, to me, that's, that's something that still causes me pain. But at the same time, it has, I have been able to learn from that experience that the moment that we have together is so finite that we can use it to improve our relationships and how we connect with each other. Yeah. And there's pain in that, but there's also beauty. <laughs> <laughs> but we never get over it. <laughs> I'm not over it, you know. <clears throat> but I'm not happy. <laughs> and there's a beauty that comes with that. Yeah. You can learn to enjoy the people that are there more yeah. without understanding that don't take them for granted. Mm. You know, and that is healthy. That is mentally healthy. If, if I was to think of my parents and feel nothing, I'd be a psychopath. Mm. You know? But I'm a human being. And I allow that experience to turn me in, into even more of a human being. So how can we t turn that around? Reflection, a little self-reflection. Um, not allowing that that experience turns us negative, mm. you know, understanding that being emotional about that is not that we are desperate, that is the end of our lives, that is the end of happiness, it is simply a transition, not just for that person that has died, but it's, a, it's also a transition for us. It gives us an opportunity to come and, and appreciate our life more and other people's in their life even more. It also has helped me to see everybody else around me in a more compassionate way. Thinking, you know what, regardless of how stupid sometimes people can be, so what? You know, we're all here for a little short time only. Sometimes we feel we are very important. And we are to those that matter, but we're not as important as we arrogantly believe. So there's a lesson behind that. So philosophizing, um, allowing it to, to get closer to, to a greater, uh, something greater than us. For, for some people, that's God. So if allowing that relationship with God to be stronger. For some people, it's spirituality or nature or, or family relationships, whatever it is. Step out of yourself and start giving. If there's one thing that I think that is a huge aspect of any mental health recovery, 
is get out of yourself and start giving. Give that love that you were for others, for yourself, to other people. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.